Hello everybody, this is Wee Ninja One. And uh, in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about the some of the new features for Buildcraft 2.2.0. In this new version, Space Toad has introduced a couple of, at least a couple of new things. One is a uh, power generator. And what you're looking at right here is a power plant, which consists of uh, five engines. I'm going to show you how it works in, the, in a little while, but um, let me just talk a little bit about the the new energy concept that Buildcraft 2.2.0 has introduced. So as you already knew, oil is uh, being collected uh, from the ground or, you know, from the ocean, from whatever. So I have the oil being collected from way yonder via this pipe, via these pipes over here and that goes into these big old tanks. Okay, and I, uh, I keep them here. Um, one of the new things is that, um, one of the new things that's being introduced is called fuel. And the way you get fuel is you convert the raw oil from over there into fuel via uh, what he calls refinery. So you you see three of them up here. They're red. And I'm also going to show you how to connect them up a little bit later on. So you've got you've got uh, oil, you've got fuel, and the power generator here actually el produces electricity, which can uh, power a bunch of things. I'm going to go through some of those. Um, a little bit later as well. Okay, so let's just get started here. I'm going to flip this switch here, which turn these um, five engines on. I'm going to walk up here and show you. So when an engine runs, it has certain energy that can be uh, extracted via a new set of pipe, at which Space Toad called uh, conductive pipe. So the first thing you want to do is collect the, the energy coming from this uh, machine. Uh, uh, yeah, this machine using a uh, wooden conductive pipe. From there, the, you see that little uh, blue line there? That's indicative of the, of the uh, electricity that's being drawn out of that machine. So you transport the energy or you transport the electricity through these golden uh, conductive pipes and they're kind of like wiring really so wherever you need it you're going to route these pipes into that here I'm, I'm using this to uh, power a quarry As you can see it goes directly into the quarry and the quarry is working you might have seen my earlier videos where I powered this quarry using one of the one of the engines. Um, so this is just an alternative, really. Okay. The other thing that you can power the um, uh, you can use the power the electricity for is the refinery. Oh, by the way, the more of these engines you have in your power plant the more electricity you're going to see coming out. So you see that thin little line? If you put many more of these into your power plant, you're going to see a thicker line, which is going to be able to just handle uh, many more devices, many more engines or power-consuming devices. All right, so right here, I have my, my uh, refinery, which consists of three refineries. Um, right now, I don't have any... Uh, any, any oil running into them yet. So let me just go ahead and do that. I'm going to turn this switch on, which pump the oil up here. And into the top of the refinery. Okay. At the bottom of the refinery is where you draw the fuel from. 
Okay. But in order to make this thing run, you need you need electricity, like so, to the side. One thing I need to do real quick before the, these things blow up. Um, another new concept that uh, Space Toad introduced is that the engine, when it runs, when it exceeds its uh, capacity, it's going to explode. It's going to turn red and then explode. So he introduces the concept of coolant. Here I have two pumps. I'm going to turn them on now. So the pump now can pump water into the engines when you need them to be cool. Over here, I run it to one of these. If you right click on one of the engines, you're going to see here's a fuel, here's a coolant. As long as you see that this is full, you're safe. I'm going to turn this one on too. I, I just have a variety of different uh, engines here this year, just to prove a point. Okay, this one here doesn't need any cooling. It by itself, the wooden engine will never blow up. Okay. You're going to look at the engine and you're going to see the color here. Initially, when it first starts, it's always blue. It's going to turn green, which I believe blue is about 0 to 25 percent capacity. Green is, um, what is it, 25 to 50, and orange is uh, 50 to 75, and if you see it in red, it's 100% 100, uh, 100 capacity. And if you leave it in red, stay in red for a while, it's just going to explode. Okay, so back to the refinery. Now we've got, now we've got oil coming into the refinery. And we've got electricity powering it. And you're going to see, you should see, oh, I'm sorry, I haven't turned on the, the pump for it yet, or the, uh, the engine to pump the oil out. Turn that on, turn that on. All right, so. At the bottom of the refinery, you're going to see this coming out. Well, the reason why it's pinkish with a with the X is that I think my my uh, texture pack is screwed up. It should be. So what color should it be? It should be yellowish like this. So you can collect it, and you can use that to power your other engine here. I pump the fuel from here, and I power a few things here. I'm going to power all the engines that are running in my uh, in my power plant, and I'm so I'm also uh, giving the fuel to these pumps over here, which pumps the oil. So we uh, came to a complete cycle here. Um, it's worth mentioning that there are three different types of pipes now. There's liquid, liquid pipe. Uh, I think he called it waterproof. I don't know why he calls it waterproof. They actually carry um, liquid. So you see here, they can carry um, water, fuel, or oil. Oil. The conductive type. Um, pipes carry electricity and of course you have your normal pipes which uh, which uh, transport the items you see here that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions, just leave me a note. I'll answer them. Thanks for watching. Bye.